What's going on guys? So today I want to talk about breeding rainbow fish and I want to start with showing you how to make a spawning mop and how I'm breeding these Parkinsoni rainbow fish. So let's get into it first by showing you the fish and then how to make the spawning mop and then going through uh, the rotation of moving the spawning mops around. But I hope you enjoy this video and click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the 55 gallon acrylic aquarium with the breeding trio of Parkinsoni rainbow fish. That is the male and the males are definitely stunning with that blue color, that blue color, that blue color, that blue color. There's one of the females and the other female is over there. But here's the spawning mop. The water level is a bit low. Um, it evaporates that much water in a week. So I got to top this tank off. But I just hang the spawning mop over the center brace. And the reason I do that is with the canister filter uh, return right there and the box filters in this tank, um, the spawning mop gets blown around. And I found uh, just through trial and error that they don't want to lay their eggs in that mop unless it's stationary so right now i just have it hanging over the top and um i'll show you how to make these here in a second but depending on the fish you're breeding um you might have like an egg scatterer so you might want to lay the mop on the bottom and if that's the case you're going to uh, use a rock to weigh it down the spawning mop has a cork and that cork allows it to float now, if I didn't have a ton of uh, water movement, and actually it's just because of that canister filter, um, the mop is pretty stationary with just the box filters. It kind of sits in between uh, both these filters and does fine. But I'll show you how I make these, and um, it's not it's not hard at all. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm doing this part of the video on the floor, and the dogs will probably be <laughs> in this video as little. Uh, photo bombers but anyways because they're they're interested in what I'm doing but what you're gonna need is some yarn and try to find the nylon yarn the nylon's not going to break down uh, in the water as quickly I don't know if it's nylon or acrylic let me see if it tells me acrylic acrylic yarn right there in the center I'm blind acrylic yarn it's not going to break down the water like um Cotton will go. There's Havana. The other thing you're going to need is some scissors. And you can use corks. These are wine corks. Um, so you, you can... Alright, girls. Come on. <laughs> you're going to need some wine corks. And if you don't have wine corks, you can buy wine corks online if you uh, don't drink. Um, I actually drink one of these bottles and the other one is from a co-worker. Oh my gosh. Girls. It's not for you. I gotta hide the corks. Back up, back up, back up. The other one, the other thing you do is use some styrofoam. This is just a piece of styrofoam I wrapped it around. It also works. It doesn't look as good, but it works. That's for floating. If, when, like I said, if you're not trying to float it, you can wrap this around a rock and keep it on the bottom. All right, so this yarn, like I said, is 100% acrylic. And this is a camouflage, um, which I think will work pretty well. I had, you know, I've been using green. Um, the mop that's in the tank right now is actually a darker green than this. This is lighter green. They still lay in either or. This is uh, a little bit thinner than what's in my tank right now. Um, I don't really think it makes a difference. I kind of like the thicker stuff personally. And um, this is about the same width um, as this new stuff. But what you're going to do, and I've seen people take a box and they wrap the yarn around a box. I just use my arm. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to show this, but, you know, it's like an extension core where you kind of wrap it from your elbow um, up to make a loop. So let me do that, and then you guys will kind of see what I'm talking about. All right, that's how I meant by wrapping around my arm. And you can use a box. I just find this way quicker and easier just to wrap it around my arm like that. What you're left with is, you know, a loop. And what we're going to do is the starting string, we're going to wrap it around where my thumb is to tie this together. And then we're going to cut off the extra down here at the bottom. All right, so I have it tied off at the top. I cut, cut off the extra. And now we're just going to take the scissors and cut right in the middle of this bottom loop. 
All right, the bottom of the loop's cut, so now we're kind of left with, I don't know, pigtails, I guess you want to call it. So from here, this is kind of long, and I do uh, this mop long because um, I hang it over that center brace in the tank. After hanging it up top, it gives me the perfect length. Um, if this is too long and you want short mops, let me zoom out here. Before you cut that bottom loop, well, I guess you don't even have to before you cut it, but uh, before you tie the top, you can fold this over in half again. Like that, tie it up here, cut that loop right there, and then it's, you know, half the length, it's shorter. Also makes it more dense. Um, this probably needs to be more dense. I probably need to do some more, which is easy because you just basically make another one of these, but then you tie them together. So let me add some more to this. All right, that's way better. I just tied a second one to it. So you can customize it, you know. I didn't get that right on my first try. And um, you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. And the thicker the yarn, the width of the yarn, I find it a lot easier to make these. But now we're going to add the cork. And this is uh, not rocket science either. Is it? All right, the way I add the cork to the mop is I literally just tie a string around it. Um, there's people that will wrap the whole mop around the cork. Um, I just feel like you don't really need that. I just tie a really tight knot and it holds it. It's not like this thing is going down a river. Um, it just needs to float in the aquarium and that usually does the trick. And, um, you know, now we have a spawning mop. So let's go ahead and swap out the mops and I'll show you the schedule. And do you guys ever have dogs that are just so interested in what you're doing? They uh, always stay around you, but let's uh, get this in the tank. All right, so I run a schedule on these mops. And basically, the mops stay in the tank for a week. That allows them to lay eggs in it for seven days. And then I pull it out and rotate a new mop in. The, this mop will go out to the fish room and we'll stay in a tank out there for um, about 12 days. That should give the eggs um, time to hatch. So first thing I do is pull this up and there's a couple of leaves and stuff that are stuck in it. I kind of let the water drain off. And out in the fish room, we'll look at this to see if there's eggs in it. There should be, but um, I'm just gonna kind of let this drain so I'm not dripping all over the floor. I'll just set that there. We're gonna take the new mop, which is right here. And it's going to kind of float because it's gotta get waterlogged. Um, we're gonna kind of push it under and squeeze it a bit to get the air out of the, uh, the yarn. And like I said, because of the flow in this tank, I have to hook it just like that. Oh, I knocked it over. All right, there it is. It's starting to sink down. It's it's a little bit longer than actually I really need, but it'll do the trick. And um, if they don't like this mop being that so long, I mean, I guess I'll have to try it. Um, I could always cut it a little bit shorter, but I'm interested to see if they like it being that camouflage color. So it's got all the different variant variances of colors in it. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they think of that. But let's move this out to the fish room. All right, we're out in the fish room and here's the last mop um, that I moved out here. And unfortunately, this tank is so planted. I mean, it's a jungle. It's really gonna be impossible to see the fry um, in here because they are so tiny um, that they're gonna be hidden in this vegetation so well, which is kind of why I wanna put them in here. There's a super red right there. Um, but there's going to be a lot of little things they can snack on in here. But, um, that's all I do is I just set the mop in here and I leave it in there for, you know, probably about 12 days. And then I pull this out. I wring it out. And then this mop will go in the, the, uh, by the breeding tank. 
and be ready for the next rotation. So this will probably sit, you know, dry out for another week. And then the next mop will take its place. Now, if I had multiple rainbow tanks, um, that's where I would need multiple mops. But I'm gonna set this phone on a tripod because I just realized I won't be able to film this next part one-handed. So one second. All right, hopefully I don't drop my phone because it's actually not on a tripod. It's on a step stool. But here's the mop we just pulled. And it is full. You can see all the eggs. This thing is full, 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 full of eggs. And that's why I leave it in there for a week at a time because it takes over a week for these eggs to hatch. Just full of eggs, full of them. This is a really, really good mop. All right, so a ton of eggs. And we're just gonna put the mop in there and we'll let it sit in there for you know 12 days to make sure if they're gonna hatch they'll hatch and then we'll start the rotation again all right guys so just kind of want to show you how to make the mop it's super simple anybody can do it um, improvise as you go along I definitely do and then I just want to show you the time frame kind of on the, at least on the park and Sonai rainbows um, the 12 day is like a good um, starting point on when those eggs will hatch. Um, it could be up to 14 days, um, could be as soon as 10 days, but I go 12 days. If they hatch, they hatch. If not, I'm just gonna keep those mops rotating. Um, anyways, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me that thumbs down. Uh, if you have any content that you guys wanna see in the future, if you have any questions, let me know. And um, I might even start some quick um, like answering question videos. Um, I actually saw uh, Camp Kennan does that. I thought that's a really good idea to, um, instead of, you know, always answering comments, which I do, I try to respond to every comment, but uh, maybe in the future I can do a video response. So that way if anybody else has the same question, they don't see the comment or the reply, um, it will help more people out. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep tanking along. See ya.